police are cracking down on people buying and selling sex. Team 10 discovered local law enforcement arrested and cited more people last year for prostitution and related crimes. We asked Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin to find out what's happening on the streets of San Diego. Yeah, and the San Diego Police Department tells us that they have seen an increase in street prostitution since one of the largest internet sex ad sites was seized by the government. The numbers show total arrests and citations related to prostitution went up more than 30% in 2018. Advocates tell me, for the most part, the women on the streets are trafficking victims. We will sell ourselves, basically, um, to make money. At 13 years old, this became Kayla's life. High heels, short skirts, nights in the back of cars and hotel rooms. A man she was forced to call daddy. If I don't have $1,500 a night, um, I will get abused. I will get slapped, I will get punched in my face. We've hidden her face and given her the fake name of Kayla to protect her identity. Kayla's story didn't start on the streets, that's where she ended up. Nasty, dirty things happen to you in a system and foster care, um, even on in a group home. I was molested, I was raped. Lost and confused, Kayla found her escape in what she thought was a friend in a similar situation. What she didn't know, the more experienced teen was a recruiter, leading her straight into a life of human trafficking. She dressed me up in a mini skirt, some high heel shoes. She told me, that, you know, that this is daddy, this is not my boyfriend. At 13 years old. At 13 years old. For the next decade, Kayla worked on the streets across the state, including the boulevard right here in San Diego. Unfortunately, Kayla's story is not uncommon. The vast majority of women who are quote unquote like in prostitution are victims of human trafficking. Grace Williams is the head of Children of the Immaculate Heart. The nonprofit was founded to help people who are vulnerable due to human trafficking. The statistics are that it's the second largest illegal industry worldwide and that matches locally and it's the fastest growing. You can sell a woman or a girl over and or a boy, you know, over and over and over again. Team 10 discovered an increase in the number of prostitution and solicitation citations and arrests made by the San Diego Police Department. In 2018, those numbers were up more than 30% from the year before, reaching 185 arrests and citations for crimes related to prostitution. Most police activity centering on Hotel Circle South, El Cajon Boulevard, and Main Street near National City. One advocate tells me the increase is because law enforcement was out on more pre-planned operations. But the increase also comes the same year one of the largest internet classified ad sites, Backpage, was seized by the government. Do you see any correlation between Backpage.com shutting down and people being exploited on the streets again? It's too early to say, but taking down the largest purveyor of sex over the internet had to have some impact. But as I said, someone's always looking for ways to make a buck. Javier Becerra is the Attorney General of California. He calls human trafficking modern day slavery. I've got three daughters. I see how this infects so many of our families. We've already taken down several sex rings. Uh, these are young kids who've ta had their life taken away. Becerra says recent changes to the laws allow prosecutors to go after pimps criminally. He says the state has the authority to prosecute trafficking rings, something he and his team are actively doing. You combat it by going after the source, the pimps. You're dressed a certain way. Kayla says she walked the streets and was forced to plaster her face in online ads. I've slept with probably over, you know, 3,000 guys. She was beaten, raped, drugged, called a prostitute, a hooker. Now she's called a survivor. Looking at it now, is there something that you would have told your younger self at that time? Run as fast as you can. And the San Diego Police Department told us that they wouldn't do an interview because that unit works undercover and interviews could jeopardize their ability to investigate local establishments. They did say arrests generated by the vice unit result from pre-planned -pre operations, but the department couldn't tell us if the arrests are more people offering sex or trying to solicit. We asked if more pimps are being arrested. They told me they didn't have data on that. Adam Rakusin, Team 10. Adam, thank you. If you or someone you know is or has been a victim of human trafficking, there is help. 
Call the 24-hour toll-free hotline at 1-888-373-7888 or you can send a text message to be free. That's 233-733. Or you can go to this website here, humantraffickinghotline.org and chat live with someone there.